From our previous example, we know that our course to steer to get from here to here on this particular time and this particular date is 064 true. That is, we've measured this line and the bearing gives us 064. So if we point in that direction, starting here, we just simply track, hopefully along this line, until we get to our destination. One thing this doesn't allow for is leeway. What you need to know to allow for leeway is which way the wind's coming from and an estimate of the leeway. In this case, the wind is going to come from the northwest, and we've estimated leeway today as five degrees. So, in fact, if we were to start here and point our boat in this direction, we wouldn't end up here. We estimate we'd end up five degrees further downwind. So, to allow for that, we don't point the boat in this direction, we point the boat five degrees further upwind to counter this. One way to think of this is to go to a compass rose, and here we have one here. We were going to point the boat in this direction, but we want to point the boat now five degrees further anti-clockwise to allow for leeway. So hopefully you can see the numbers here as you move anti-clockwise are decreasing. So to allow for leeway, starting with our 064, we subtract our 5 degrees in brackets of leeway, just to remind us. And this gives us a true course allowing for leeway of 0, 5, 9 degrees true. Now this is still in true, so we need to allow for variation. We know on this chart, at this particular date, in this lo location, Variation is 7 degrees west. So in this case, we add 7 degrees. And if you're not sure why we add as opposed to subtract, you can see our earlier notes on variation. That gives us, in total, 059, add 7, 066 degrees magnetic and that's our course to steer in magnetic. If we were to make adjustments of deviation we'd do that last and we do it now.